What's going on guys? For So for some of you that might already know, um, if you've been reading my blog or whatever, or just you know keeping up with what's going on, on the website, I recently purchased a new microphone and everything and it arrived today. And strangely enough, it arrived in two packages, um, this really big box and this small one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna unbox them. It's gonna be lots of fun. So I'll just start off with the smaller one first. Move this big one out of the way. Ugh, it's quite heavy actually. And I bought these from a company called Swamp, Swamp Media or something. I don't know, I'll put a link in the description. I can't, can't remember the name. And yeah, it's been packaged quite well actually. Ooh, you gotta love that bubble wrap sound. Okay, so I got the box open. It's all amazing. Let's see what's inside. What could it be? Ooh. This is the uh, little desk arm it comes with. It's a lot bigger than it looked like in the photo. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. A lot bigger than what it looks like in the photo, so. And here we have the base. It's made by a company called ISK. They also make the microphone as well. And that's all that's in that box. So I'll put this aside for now. Alrighty then, so on to the goodies. I did already open this, but I didn't really look inside. I just opened it to check for an invoice or anything like that. You know, because that's what you do. Can you tell I'm really excited? It's amazing. I've been wanting to get a new microphone for ages and I found this kit. I um, actually found it while I was just running around on YouTube, watching random videos about microphones and stuff and I found this review. Did a bit of Googling and found the uh, company that makes it or sells it. So yeah, so without further ado, here it is. So this comes with a desk stand, which I already showed you just there. Uh, it also comes with a pop filter, which will be very handy. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got a shock mount. It might be a bit hard to take out. And this thing is packaged incredibly well. It's amazing. Um, I thought this was just a kit they threw together or something. It looks like it's been packed like this from the factory. So we'll start from left to right. So first up we got here is the, ugh, if I can get it out, the condenser microphone. This has a few different patterns. You can go cardioid or um, you can go cardioid, omnidirectional or the other one that's just cardioid but from both sides. So that's pretty neat. It is an XLR microphone, which is why I bought this Focus, stupid camera. This is why I bought this in a kit, because it comes with this little doodad here that I'll show you in a second. It's actually quite heavy for a microphone too. And down here we've got just some random, random cables and things. We've got uh, the USB cable, it's a mini USB. That's to drive this uh, sound card. Also comes with what looks like about a two meter XLR cable, which will come in very handy. And then, oops, sorry, that's my phone. And down here we've got the rest of the desk mounting kit. As you can see, it says ISK microphone stand. Not bad, actually, it's pretty good quality. And down in here, we've got, ooh, it's pretty heavy, a little weight. So this thing comes with two stands, that's weird. Came with two uh, desk stands, that's pretty cool. Um, here we have the, as I said before, the uh, shock mount. It's shocking how big it is. I don't know if I'm going to even get this out. I might have to cut this. All right, so we got it out. And it's actually quite good quality as well. I was originally looking at getting um, one of the knockoffs of these microphones on eBay for like 20 bucks, but honestly, 
you know, just make the investment. You won't have any problems with it then, hopefully. I just wanted to get something that just works, so. This part looks like it goes into that desk stand we got, and it's got this other piece here to screw into it, the pop filter. And this is all made by the same company by the looks of it, so everything should just clip together. I'll have to look up how to put the mic in there. I think it just slides in there or something. But that's to remove any vibration noise from the desk, if you punch the desk or something. And then here we have the most interesting part, actually, apart from the microphone. This one I was most interested in. Um, because this microphone uses XLR and it's a 48 volt Phantom XLR, so you couldn't just run this off a standard sound card. So you would have to... Um, oh, no, I peeled it up. <laughs> oh no! I'll have to peel that off later. Yeah, so you couldn't just run it straight off like 3.5 mil or anything like that. Okay, so this is the sound card. It's a USB. So we've got ourselves a USB port, headphone out port, which you can actually connect it up to other things, I think. And the switch there to switch between 48 volt phantom and non 48 volt phantom stuff. So, And you've got all the volume controls, high, low gain. It's actually a pretty cool little piece of kit, and it's got the XLR connection on the end there. So this will be coming handy. So the reason I got this kit was because I'll be able to upgrade it anyway. Like, I'm not stuck with a certain thing, so I can upgrade to a different mixer board, or upgrade the microphone itself, or upgrade the headphones, or upgrade the upgrade the stand or the pop filter all independently. So that's pretty cool. And the last thing is these, which I was actually also quite interested in because my headphones have died. These are just a generic rebranded headphones, but they're, uh, they're apparently, uh, what's to call it, reference or something like that. Um, oh, I can't remember the name. Anyway, they're just basically a flat sound, if you remember. <laughs> I'll put in the description what it's actually called, but um, yeah. So these are all brand new. I think I paid about a, close to about $200 with shipping and everything on this kit, but honestly, it's gonna be worth it. Um, they're a lot lighter than my other headphones. Um, I've been using these for a few years. They're actually uh, DJ, with air quotes, headphones. They have a lot warmer sound to them, but you know, they're a lot heavier. They're meant to um, connect straight up to the uh, phono output of a DJ deck or something. They're actually quite loud and everything, but they don't make them anymore. Um, the company that made them got bought out, and then they just stopped making these. The whole the, the whole line, all their headphones, they just stopped making them, and they're actually quite nice. You can pick these ones up for about 50 bucks now. They're just All the stores are getting rid of them. I paid about 200 for those when they were new. That was about no, three years ago. But anyway... So that's the whole unboxing and everything, and I'll just quickly set this up so you can see what it looks like. All right, so this is what the microphone looks like all set up. It took me about oh, 10 minutes to set it up, 15 minutes. I've never used a microphone like this before, so I just had to um, sort of guess a few things. I ended up uh, jumping on their website and um, just taking a quick look at how they set it up in the photo. Um, you don't need the... Uh, the little stand that comes with it. So I think what ha what the way it works is this microphone on its own usually comes with its own little cheaper desk stand, but uh, this kit, you get like a better one. Um, so here's the headphones as well. They do come with both a 3.5 mil and a, I think it's a five mil jack. So that's pretty handy. And one thing I don't like about this stand, um, just from setting it up, is there's a nut here to adjust to make this nice and tight this this uh, fitting here tight but there's nothing on the bottom so like if I go to adjust this it'll loosen up this uh, bottom piece and then it's not straight and that's not a huge problem it's just because there's this uh, little logo on the bottom and it's you know you just like to have it nice and straight um, other than that it's pretty good the the shock mount works pretty well, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's two big uh, clips here that you squeeze and that'll loosen up a little retention and you can pop that in there. Um, for smaller setups, you don't actually need to use that two meter XLR cable. You can just plug the little USB amp into the bottom of the microphone. I probably won't be doing that because I don't have a, my USB cables aren't quite long enough. 
um, for my setup. And on the mic there, you got all the different settings and things and all that. And um, pop filters actually looks like it's a fairly good quality too. Um, it's got like a two filters in it. So I think most of the really cheap ones on eBay just have one. So we'll see how well that works. Um, I might get this set up and do a bit of audio recording or something just to show it off, see how it sounds. This is the ISK BM, what is it, the uh, BM 400, 500? It says it right here, I can't see it. I've forgotten already. So yeah, to take this out, you just, you know, undo that. And just here's a quicker, a quicker, this is a word. BM 600, yeah. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of these on eBay that are actually um, counterfeits. They don't say ISK on them, they just say BM 400, 600, and they're plastic. Whereas this one is entirely uh, metal, and it uses a true XLR input. Um, where the other ones, they're XLR connectors, but they're just, um, you know, just standard 3.5mm. Uh, but they just use an XLR connection to make it look fancy. So you can screw this into different mounts and stuff. I don't know a whole lot about microphones. I'm hoping to learn more. And yeah. So, yeah, let's have a go. Alright, so we can do a little test here to see what it sounds like using uh, Bandicam. I'm sitting not too far away from the microphone, you know, average distance. I haven't got my face pressed up against the pop filter. And yeah, the pop filter actually works quite well. Die! Um, let's try it. <laughs> see? <laughs> Make noises like that. You can't really hear it. It just sounds like wind. Ah, an invisible person. Oh, I died. Um, one thing I have found out about this little amplifier thing is um, it doesn't actually do live audio out from that little headphone port. You'd have to um, basically go listen to device in Windows Audio Manager and whatever the same thing is in OS X. Um, it's kind of annoying. Uh, the problem with that is it leaves a little bit of a delay. So, I don't know. Work a way around it eventually. Um, yes. Sort of an impromptu let's play. Oh my god, someone's shooting at me. Ah, I got chopped up to pieces. And yeah, I've got it set up on the cardioid pattern. So we'll see how well this turns out. I can't hear it at the moment, so. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know how to run in this game. What is run? I don't know what the run button is. I've never played this game before. I played it for like 10 minutes. I think I'm playing capture the flag. Ah, oh, no, I died. Anyway, so that's sort of just a little preview of what it's... Hopefully what videos will be like from now. It should sound a lot better and less muffled. Before I was using a broken pair of turtle beaches, which uh, frankly are useless. But uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!